Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ilego Map Oluwo Femi. I am Smahil Roki Fago, and you're welcome to Lion Sport TV. Today, we're talking about the AFCON, we're talking about um, Nigeria, the Super Eagles, uh, the Group A matches. Yes, we're going to be giving you the predictions on, um, on Group A. Uh, Mr. Mark, what do you think Nigeria can qualify from, from Group A? It's our current form. Looking at the group here, yeah, you easily say Nigeria and Ivory Coast should qualify from that group. But AFCON is this year, I tend to see a lot of surprises. The team Guinea Bissau, I see them as um, underdogs, they can bite. Uh, so you they, see them as threat to Nigeria and Ivory Coast? Yeah, yeah. We will be having the Ivory Coast play the Guinea Bissau today yes. by 9 pm. Uh, that game will actually tell a lot. Ivory Coast is the host of this year's AFCON, which puts them in a place of um, pressure. So they, are, they want to do what they need to do to win all courts. Remember the last time Nigeria won AFCON, although we actually posted the AFCON. The first time we won the AFCON. Yes. Yeah. All right. So let's look at the team, Nigerian team. Let's look at our, our, our first team. I think we have um, a very good team. We have good players individually. Currently, we have the best player kind in Africa, Victor yes, Simi. We have Victor Simi. We have Sodik. We have Victor, especially um, Boniface. Boniface is in great form now in Bundesliga. He has been scoring back to back. Yes, but unfortunately, for us, he's going to be out of the um, competition because of his injury. So, still an injury. So, although we have a replacement for him, but we're still going to be missing his quality. Yeah. And Sodik as well. Sodik is also out. Personally, I think we don't have an issue. Uh, yes, we still have Inacho. is there. Inacho, we have Moses Simon. But Simon is there. Yes, we have uh, the star Chukwese. boy is there. We have Chukwese. I mean, Chukwese, Chukwese is the ball right now. So. Great but let's not forget the Ivorians have some very powerful strikers. Yes, they have um, Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian of um, Sebastian Borussia Dortmund. Yes, that guy is going to be a threat. I mean, it's, it's one person that everybody should look forward to. But what do you think about Nigerian game for tomorrow? Nigeria will be playing Equatorial Guinea. Yes. By 5 p.m. Nigerian time tomorrow. What do you think about that match? I think Nigeria will win that match. I think Nigeria, though we are not in a good form, we are not in a good form, but don't forget we have we have a track we have a good track record in AFCON. We believe that um, this the spirit of AFCON when when our players start playing AFCON, I mean the spirit is going to if the spirit is going to enter them and then they are going to start playing the right thing because currently we are in a bad shape. You look at our five matches, I mean we drew like two matches, we yeah. lost to Guinea. Yeah. We lost to Guinea twice. Guinea Bissau twice. I mean, Guinea Bissau defeated Nigeria at at our home, which is very bad. And well, I lost to them in, in the way. To be fair to, to the fair to the to the Super Eagles, yeah. Uh, the Super Eagles have a track record of always qualifying from the from the group. Good stage, yes. So I also see them win. And we don't just qualify. Most of the times we get into the semi-finals. Most of the time we get to the semi-finals. We, we, we win medals. Sometimes we get to the final. Sometimes we win um, bronze. Sometimes we win silver. But I'm sorry to say this time we have a coach problem. Um, I think we have great teams individually, but our coach gambles with football. That yes. is my that my opinion. It's not even about gambling. He doesn't know what he's doing. You understand? He's, that, and that, that guy is just too desperate. He doesn't, he doesn't know. What Aside he's doing. our coaching problem, our goalkeeper is yes. a major problem. It's another problem. So it's for me, problem. I think if we can, since we have great strikers... So we have two problems now, the goalkeeper and the manager. For the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper Francis Uzo has made, has made a lot not of not mistakes. Very, not just Uzo, all, all our goalkeepers, after uh, we've not gotten a good keeper after Yaman left us. We've been struggling after Yaman left. Super Eagles have I mean, been struggling generally. We, we lost at the, I mean, we, we lost at Afcon, last Afcon, because, because of the Goalkeeper error. I don't think I made a big mistake against um, Nigeria at the round of 16. Yeah, I, I remember that match. I remember that match. We couldn't qualify, couldn't qualify to World Cup because of our Goalkeeper error as well. I don't think I made a error against Ghana, that's why I couldn't qualify to World Cup. So, 
I remember one very interesting game when we played the Cote d'Ivoire the last time when Emily K scored that game. That is that is when we have Stephen Keshi. That's when exactly. we have Stephen Keshi. And that's the coach. See, see what Stephen Keshi brought to that team is because because um, Stephen Keshi is I mean he understands the he understands the he understands the tradition of the team. He understand he understands the tradition. So are you saying So this guy doesn't understand the tradition of the team, he doesn't understand the so are you saying having a foreign coach for the Super Bowl that done more harm than good? Exactly, exactly. So you think we need a local coach? A local coach that understands the principle of the team, that understands the fundamentals of the team. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at, I mean, if you look at Stephen Kesh, Stephen Kesh really understands this team better than all these all these white men. Because he, he was a player, he has played for Nigeria, he played for Nigeria in 1994. I mean, he's, he's part of the team that won ever. Nations go for Nigeria and they qualified. They qualified to rank round of 16. I mean, during that time, Nigeria were ranked as number um, the fourth best country in the world by FIFA. So, and he was he, he played a major um, role in that. And as a coach as well, he, he, he almost he, he made the same um, achievements in 2013. He qualified Nigeria to um, to the World Cup and we got to rank 16 as well. Well, I would not uh, say I want to disagree with school. you. Like I no one has ever done that before. Well, I only really did that because he understands the, I mean, the fundamentals of it. You are partly understand. correct. You are partly correct. But I want to say for this year, I want to believe Pesero has made has learned from his mistakes. How? Oh. Uh, you, you, you are saying he has learned how? Oh. Okay, fine. Because if you look at yeah, our no qualifiers, it's not, it's not if, 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 if you look at our qualifiers, we struggling. We even lost to Lesotho. Yes. No, we drew against Lesotho. We, we drew against Lesotho. We, I mean, we barely qualified. Like, we're not, we're not we're supposed, supposed to, to draw against Lesotho. Like, it's an, it's an insult to us. Pesero yes. lose against teams is supposed to win. Oh, teams wow. are supposed to beat like 3 to 5 zero. That is why I'm scared of tomorrow's match. I want him to actually. I expect to see early goals from the Super Eagles tomorrow. You, you know why I'm not scared of tomorrow's match? Why? Because we, we have a good track record in AFCON, and that is going to help our players. You understand? It's, it's going to give them the morale, it's going to make them believe in themselves because we've, we've done it before. Well, so, this is not our first time. I was so happy when I when, when I saw Ahmed Musa as part of the. The the, the 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 players for this year. So I mean, he's an old man. He's an old man, but I think yeah, he will yes, bring, yes, bring experience to the team. It's going to be same with Enacho. Enacho will also bring experience to the team. So the the ability for our coaches to make great changes, because those guys might come in from the bench. At last, the team he doesn't know when to substitute player. He doesn't he doesn't know when to make changes. He's a bad coach. He doesn't know when to put the right player and when to when to substitute the player. Is a, is a complete bad man. So do you think Spiders can win this tournament? No, I don't think so. It's going to take a little bit of magic for Nigeria to win this tournament. Well, I beg I know, to differ. Anything can happen, but without a good coach, it's going to be I like beg to differ. You know have, you seen, have you ever seen any club or any team succeed without a good manager? I haven't seen before. Yes, but this time, um, if you, you, know, you, you, you know, so you know, don't, don't expect much from the national you know, team. The super are aside, aside the fact that we don't have a good manager, we also have a short corruption that plays out at NFF. Yes, you understand. Uh, but this year, I think, um, even before the, the Spiders went all the way down to Ivory Coast, they met with the governor of Lagos State, and uh, the team were looking all pumped up, and the man told them, No grief for anybody. <laughs> So I'm very certain okay. that 